Amanda, so great to have you back on. Always love when you're with me. Oh, I love coming on with you. I've been to Israel as well. Amazing place. I was there last June. It changes you. Yes, it changes I, you spiritually. It does. I've heard the, mm -hmm. the exact same thing from multiple people who don't know each other. And it's always the same thing. The Bible is so much more real to me now. It's it's like it's alive. And I can mm -hmm. picture those places. And it, it brings you deeper into fellowship with God. It, re it really does. You walked where Jesus walked. You literally Amazing. walked where Yeshua walked. That's amazing. I hope mm -hmm. to go one day. I really want to go, but someone has to fill in for Steve and that's me. So well, you guys, but <laughs> anybody Steve out there go. looking to fill in so Kelsey can go to Israel, please email me. Like, <laughs> no, please don't do that. <laughs> anyone would li looking to fill in. No, one day I know I'll get to go and I know it will be God's perfect time. Cause you know how that works with the Lord. It's like, we don't get to go. We don't get to do something. And we kind of wonder what, like it's Lord, it's yeah. how come I'm, it's not my time. I don't get to see that. And then exactly. the day he opens that door and you do get to go, you see his hand on why the time was right for you to go at that certain moment. So I encourage you, if you feel a stirring inside of you to go, like, mm -hmm. I know this is the time I know I need to be there. I really encourage you to go. If, if you're blessed to be able to do it, um, I know I would go if I could, but I'm telling you, it's really going to be an amazing time. And have you ever been with Steve Swanson before? No, oh I have God. not. He is a, he's a riot. He's amazing. Yeah. His worship is so fun, Amanda. It's like high praise, high praise, and you sing and you just dance. Mm -hmm. And it's like, he'll feel the Lord kind of moving and he'll change to this. And it's like, you just feel the glory in the world. Oh, that's the wonderful. Lord. So strong. He's so anointed. It's it's really wonderful. Okay, yeah. so oh, go ahead. I was gonna say the only Swanson I've ever met is the one that makes those pot pies. In you the, met him? In the, oh, you met the pot pie. <laughs> <laughs> you met him in the freezer the aisle. <laughs> met, but I'd love to meet this gentleman. Okay. Yes, you would love him. Okay, mm -hmm. so give me an update on all of your babies at the Ark. Well, we just had the gala, the sanctuary gala, which was amazing because we're starting the expansion project because oh, the ark wonderful. is growing. Yeah. You know, and the Lord has sent, he keeps sending animals and, and my husband keeps having a panic attack every time another animal is going to come. Uh, and so basically Who's that in the tuxedo, there's Cyrus and black tie. We had a meet and greet with some of the animals, Cyrus, Missy, Molly, the African gray parrot, and Noah, the African tortoise were all present for the first hour of the gala. So there I am with Cyrus. Oh, mm -hmm. and I, I think we have some other ones too of, Let's show the horse if we can. Okay. That haircut, Amanda, is it's hilarious. It reminds me of like a kindergartner whose mom yep. took a bowl and like <laughs> got our the team hair. did that. They cut her hair. Uh <laughs> this is Charlotte. Uh Charlotte is a hackney. She was from Amish country. She was severely abused. We got her oh. in not only terrible shape, she was broken. You could see oh. she was broken. And Charlotte has gotten leaps and bounds better. Praise God. She is Praise on God. a wonderful regimen to treat her knees. Uh, she's walking better. She looks better. She's oh, gained some weight. God. And so she's very happy. There's Aww. Chester and Bixby. Chester just got a lion cut. If you've never seen a lion cut on a cat, please go look it up. It's quite hysterical. <laughs> but this is Chester and Bixby. They are best buds. His other best bud in the house is Boots. And so this is a little cat house we have for them on the very top floor of the house. We have their cat towers. We have cat houses for them. We have a little teepee for them that says the Ark. So that's where they are in this pic. Oh, this is Faith and Hope. So Faith and Hope came to us from a, a very serious situation and they were very ill. And oh, so they doing better because last time we were on, I think you just got them, got them. They are doing leaps and bounds better. I mean, oh, praise God. They, they, they look better. Their eyes are better. They had ulcers on their eyes. Oh. Uh, fa uh, Faith, the one who's disabled, her, her legs kind of go out like this. Um, mm -hmm. She had overgrown teeth. 
that were were trimmed down um and so basically they are doing very well they're very happy they have an enormous playpen that they live in mm -hmm. and their neighbor is noah the african tortoise i think yeah we have i was gonna say we There's have noah so cute. eating his clovers he loves clovers african tortoises love to eat clovers and grass so he gets his outside time now that it's getting warmer in new york and it's yes. you know going into the 70s during the day. So this is him out in one of our gated areas. Do you know how old he is? Yes, he is 10 years old. And he looks like he's like 80 years old. I know, doesn't he? <laughs> doesn't he? And he's gonna grow a lot more too. I don't know. He's about maybe oh, he's about this big right now, but he's gonna Aww. get to be this big. So oh, we're making wow. plans to build him a custom pen that's heated because they have to be at 80 degrees all the time. Wow. These tortoises, and they have to have UV light. They have to have a humidifier on so their shells and their skin don't dry out. So we have a whole custom setup that our team built for him. Oh, mm -hmm. only you, Amanda. <laughs> only you would do that. I mean, seriously, like it's it's amazing your heart for animals. And who's this? This is Grace. And she came with that name. We didn't give her that name. Grace is a painted horse, and she came from a very high-end equestrian center uh, where children were taught. And so she got an injury, and she couldn't anymore. And so um, she was at the farm that Charlotte went to at first so I could keep her there when I had to pull her on emergency. And so when it came time for us to move them, uh, the owner of the farm asked if we would take Grace also because Charlotte and Grace had become friends. Oh, So that's how we got Grace. And this is Prince. He's one of our newest. He's 31 years old. Which and is, is old for a horse. How long do they normally live for? They live past 40 years. Wow. Horses. If they take good care of them, they can live past 40 years. He's wearing his fly mask because, as you know, the warmer weather brings out the bugs. And so he is a wonderful boy. He is so happy. We have him at a stable down the road for now until we build our 12-stall barn that we're planning Aww. to build. And so he's even made friends with the horse next door. He's got a wonderful <laughs> stall and walk out and he's being taken very good care of. Our team goes there during the week too, to groom him, bathe him, cut his mane, Aww. you know, make sure he's okay. So he's doing well. Oh my goodness. So this is Missy and Cyrus on our driveway. And they don't, they don't look like they're friends at all. Oh, <laughs> Oh, these two, it is like WWE, uh, <laughs> WrestleMania, puppy edition all the time. And so obviously Cyrus here is pin Missy, right? And she's Aww. like, I give up. That's so cute. I give up. <laughs> oh, this is our problem, child. Um, <laughs> This is Mordecai. <laughs> he looks like he has a mischievous look on his face, too, which is even funnier. <laughs> like, he just he, got into trouble. He oh, he does. I mean, he is. He's a bit mischievous, Mordecai. Uh, very smart. Young Quaker parrot. He's only about a year and a half old. Uh, and so, basically, we have been dealing with trying to train him and teach him to step up on our hand and to do those things because he didn't know how to do anything when he came. Very smart. He 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 will imitate you. We hear him imitating us <laughs> when he's out in the Barrett room. So, Mordecai is one of our newest. He is adorable, but he is a rascal, and you have to watch him. Oh. This is Sadie oh, in our kitchen. So, Sadie is 15 years old. Wow, oh. that's that's getting up there for a cat. It is, and we had her since she's six months. Oh, so she has her own little spot. We have a separate laundry room that she absolutely loves. So our team made her a bed and a spot, and they asked me to make her a custom sign that said Sadie's Place, and they oh. hung it on the wall. And she's got her food bowl up there on the counter and everything. And so, because she loves the laundry room because it's near my office, and so Sadie is. For 15, she's doing amazing. She's active. She eats. You know, she's doing very well. Oh, here's the budgies. There's three of the five budgies that we have here at the sanctuary. The one all the way to my left, maybe your right, is Kiwi. Uh, so he, he came with a name. The other two, I'm not sure what our team named them. I would have to ask. But they mm -hmm. are in a big flight cage. 
So the budgies have a very large flight cage uh, that they are in. We actually have uh, our doctor coming, our avian vet coming to the sanctuary uh, to actually give all the birds a checkup. Oh, I mm-hmm. bet they love having each other too. Like they're, they're not. Birds are social alone. animals. Yeah, they definitely yes. love being around other birds and they love people. Yes. Mm-hmm. Well, they're not, none of those animals look spoiled at all. <laughs> I mean, they're just barely getting by They're, you know, but is, is yeah. there any way where people, if they want to help in any way, because anyone who's owned animals and ha- they know it's a big, it's a lot of work. It's a lot of an expense. Is there anywhere people can go to help you kind of with all of this rescue stuff? If they go to arcofgrace.org and mm-hmm. go to the event section, we have our Heavenly Haven campaign there going on still, which is to build the barn and expand the sanctuary and do what we have to do. So people can go there. All the information is there for them to read about it. We're even doing a tree in the barn with different metal leaves and people can put their names or the names of their grandkids on the leaves to show everybody, you know, in the barn as a reminder, you know, of everybody who blessed us. So they can go there to learn more, arcofgrace.org event section, and we have the Heavenly Haven campaign. Oh, wonderful. Mm -hmm. Okay, Amanda, I'm going to put I'm going to push it to you and just let you go through because there's a bunch of words that you're going to share with us today. And some of them are um, rather weighty. So uh, you just you go for it. um, If you want to pray first, and then we'll get started. Okay. By the power of the blood of Jesus Christ, by the spirit of the one true living God. May only the truth and power of Almighty God with authority now come forth, Father, in Jesus' name. Father, allow us the humble privilege of being vessels of your power. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Amen. Okay. So this word was um, was was released the night before Passover. This is why it's so long. So this was on the eve of Passover that this word was released. And normally around these times, the words tend to get a little longer. The Lord has more to say, (laughs) considering what's going on in the world right now. So basically, this is why it's a little longer. Okay. So it, it begins with, you, God alone, are maker of heaven and earth, the day and the night, the darkness and the light. The earth is your footstool, and to your kingdom, there is no end. And the spirit of the Lord says this day. Fear not, for I am with you. Be not dismayed, for I am, capital, your God. Behold, I will strengthen you. I will uphold you with my capital, righteous right hand, says the Lord of hosts. Be ready, my capital children. Gird up your loins in an hour of tumult and shaking and prideful rebellions rising in the earth. Leaders saying in their hearts, I will ascend as high as the heavens. I will destroy the nations who call on the name of the Lord. In their hearts, they have entertained such a pious position, says the Lord. Thus says the Lord, pride cometh before destruction and a haughty spirit before a big fall, says the Lord. For serpents have risen up for a strike. The prince of Persia, that spirit has risen up in a rebellion to stir the people of that land, says the Lord. Mm -hmm. Thus says the Lord, the rise shall bring a hard fall for the Ayatollah's court, says the Lord. For the courts of nations that have welcomed the persecuting spirit in and have entertained its offer, says the Lord, those nations in this time are set to be threshed, says the Lord. Thus says the Lord, the underground church in Iran, your shackles are about to come off, says the Lord. Your redemption draweth nigh, says the Lord. Call unto me, that's capital, people of Iran, for your leaders are bringing your nation under a curse. Mm. Woe, now woe means cursed. Biblically speaking, every time you hear woe in the Bible, it means cursed. Mm -hmm. Wow, I didn't know that. Mm -hmm. Yep, every time you hear woe, it means cursed. So woe, capital, unto them, says the Lord. Woe unto them, these are all capitalized. Woe unto their meeting with Russia. Woe unto Russia, says the Lord. You trifle too close, capital, to my land and my business, says the Lord. You shall be roped and tied as cattle for how you think you will interfere. You shall be bound from going as far as you so desire, says the Lord. And says the spirit of the Lord this day, O Israel, Israel, your shepherd is calling you. Hashem Mm -hmm. is calling you. 
Humble yourselves. Call on the name of Yeshua. He is your advocate before Amen. my capital throne. Amen. Walk circumspectly as Joshua so did before me in battle. Consecrate yourselves before me. That's capital. Seek my mm -hmm. instruction. That's capital. For I, the Lord, have the strategies you so seek. You must not, that's capitalized, fight out of emotion in this hour. You mm -hmm. must fight according to the word. This is capital. My word, says the Lord. You must fight with that as your foundation and me going before you as David so sought me with the Philistines. Mm -hmm. And I told my capital servant, when you hear the sound of marching through the poplar trees, know I have gone out ahead of you to strike the enemy. And then only then that's capitalized was David allowed to pursue. Mm -hmm. And says the spirit of the Lord this day, O U N, puffed up rooster, boasting your warnings and accusations. When all capitals, you are doing even worse in the dark. And one of your heads is about to be so does. For you give the illusion of peacekeepers when you truly are blood hunters, says the Lord. Mm, wow. Yeah, I know. This is very serious wording here. In the dark, you make deals with devils, with nations harming their own people. And they so handsomely pay you for such as mm -hmm. the who that's capitalized W H O shall come mm -hmm. back out again with the UN for they have been making their rounds in the middle East says the Lord looking for an Avenue, looking for opportunity to attach threads to another nation that will so that so will allow them to be in the shadows says the Lord. Wow. And says the spirit of the Lord this day, the church within the earth, all capital parts of the earth, needs to cry out to me in this hour, an outcry mm -hmm. to heaven, a petition for a cleansing, for a just cleansing in the earth and in the church, in the church, it says, for the serpents of tolerance, of persecution, the serpent of those enticed to be woke, yet they are asleep, the serpent of perversions. Mm -hmm that perverts the flesh and the mind into becoming genders that in their cells they are not. The serpent of the power of the air and entertainment has lured mm. the church into a cinematic exploit. Believing the lie, it has to look and sound like the world to reach the world. That's right. Mm -hmm. These serpents, pythos, have gone out in a force in the church unlike any other time and has caused the great divide, says the Lord. The great divide, they have attempted to split the baby, says the Lord, to appease mm -hmm. demons that are outcrying through man. Demons catering to devils and doctrines and forces of darkness that are not of me, that's capitalized, says the Lord. Mm -hmm. And says the spirit of the Lord this day, that great divide, the part of the church that broke rank and followed these doctrines and instructions of serpents shall in this season, all capitals here, in this season, says the Lord, be sifted unlike any other time. For they do the bidding of the works of darkness, the abominations presented by devils that deliver doctrines of darkness, manipulating mm. the cover to be seen as light and good and loving. Liars, mm. says the Lord, liars. And in this season, my house mm. must be cleansed. It must. For shepherds have become enablers and placators. They now welcome what is detestable and hate what is just. Wow. Is that very that, heavy. I know, but it's so good because you hear it and it's like mm -hmm. the Lord desires for us to be holy and we're to be holy as he is holy. Mm -hmm. And I think of the people that are have been in churches for a long time and I think I know people personally that have started at churches and the pastor was preaching the word and doing the right thing. And over time, it's yes. gotten like a little bit of leaven ruins the whole lump, oh, wolf. Yes. Where mm -hmm. it's been like a compromise here and a, and a yes to this. And OK, well, I guess we're OK with that. And the people in the church don't want to leave because they feel like, you know, we've been going here for so long. But how can they stay? Because if you're saying the Lord's saying it's going to be sifted, well, you don't want to be amongst that yeah. crowd. 
Mm -hmm. Now, and I have a pastor friend from Texas and he says to me, Amanda, compromise leads to a loss of vision. Yeah, that's true. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. What would you say to people who are maybe in churches or their family is where this type of thing is happening? It's, it's total compromise and they know it. Like, should we advise our loved ones or just pray for them behind the scenes? How should we deal with that? You know, you have to discern what the Holy Spirit, the counselor, wants you to do because he knows whether they're ready to hear and receive that. Mm -hmm. So if they are ready to hear and receive, he may prompt you to share. Okay. But if you feel you're be he's telling you, just wait, it means he wants you to pray and intercede for them and not say okay. anything yet because he wants that time to be right for them to receive what you yes. have to say. Okay, that's good. Mm -hmm. Okay. I, the Lord, revealed unto Ezekiel, my prophet, called to a perverse and rebellious generation. I showed him the greater abominations being committed in the temple behind closed doors. I showed him what the priests did in the dark as they paraded to be doers of the word in the light. I yeah. showed him, and I am doing the same in this season, in this time. The church is a place for the sick to come to get well, all capitals. It is not meant to entertain men like a circus, like they are little children. Although the church has partaken to send men emotionally backwards and make them mere boys. Where are all the men, says the Lord? Where are they? The leaders, the leaders of biblical and moral character. Where are they, says the Lord? Many have sold themselves out to a lost and dying world and helped accelerate that process. My capital sheep need to be equipped in this time, equipped, not spoon fed, not cheer led, not entertained, not fed junk, junk food in every sense of the word. For they lose hope because they have put their hope in junk, junk reports, junk news, junk intel. They have put their hope in men and agendas and disingenuous shepherds who have led them to a field of thorns, briars, bristles to eat where the water is contaminated and the souls of the sheep are sick. Wow. Yeah. And then he, this is all capitals here. My house will come into order and I, the Lord have spoken forth from my throne, a changing of the guard to occur in this season where the pulpit shall be given to those who are worthy of leadership, who are not mm -hmm. children emotionally, who want to stand on the solid rock of Jesus Christ instead of be mm -hmm. rock stars. Amen. I, amen. I, the Lord, honor those openly who honor me. So he's saying, I honor men who honor me. However, Hollywood has gotten into the church. The world has hijacked the church. How dare they come into my house and rearrange such for their purposes, mm -hmm. for their sinful, lustful, rageful, deceitful agendas? Wow. That in this season will change, says the Lord. It must change, all capitals. I, the Lord, this day order from my throne, it be entered in the book of records that this has been spoken and so shall be as the joy of the Lord, the justice of Yahweh is in the earth. Wow. Amen. The book of records, I don't hear that all the time. Yeah, I don't think I've ever heard you say that. Mm -hmm. it, it, it happened again with the word I just released last uh, last night as well. But what happens with this is that when it's a very serious um, a judgment that the Lord needs to put forth, it's entered in the book of records that it was done this day, just like in a court of law. It's being yes. entered in the book of records in heaven. So I think we're going to continue to see because we've seen a little bit here and there of obvious exposure. Um, so we're going to continue to see that on a bigger it's scale. Picking up. Yeah, it's picking yeah. up. You can see it picking up. You can see, you know, more being yep. sifted and, and, yes. and coming out and happening. So, yes. And the mm -hmm. beauty of that, too, I always like to say this um, is that the judgment of God always leads to his mercy. Yes. So like if we're if we're still alive, we still have time to repent and turn back to God for 
doing things against his will and doing things against his word. So mm -hmm. I think, yes, it's a harsh word, but the beauty of God is his judgment. That's a beautiful side of the Lord because it always leads to mercy. Yes, it does. And love has many faces. Yes. And he wouldn't be a good father if he didn't correct discipline and chastise. That's you know, right. I think some of the problem is um, parts of the fivefold take that out. Take mm -hmm. that that disciplinary corrective side of God, that loving correction out. Yes. And 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 what they do is in the process, they enable people to be very emotionally immature mm -hmm. in their trials and what they go through. That's what happens. It stunts their growth spiritually and emotionally. Yes. Or they fall away. Yeah, exactly. And, and they they fall away because they weren't built on solid rock. You know, the wind yes. and the waves come and it's like, well, I wasn't firm in the Lord. And the Bible even says he chastises those he loves. So those who are sons and daughters are disciplined by God. So it's it's like you said, it's the beautiful side to the Lord. He has so many sides to him that we want to know. You know, we don't just want to know one. We want to know all the beautiful things about God. Amen. Amen. And says the spirit of the Lord this day, the heavens and the earth are crying out together, says the Lord. That is why signs in the heavenlies are aligning in the earth. The earth cries out, the heavens cry out to its creator for justice. And when these cries align, says the Lord, there are massive shifts in nations and the earth in oceans, says the Lord, shifting in the oceans, where the oceans will give up what it hides in the depths, its treasures, species not yet discovered. The shift causes the oceans to give them up, says the Lord. That's interesting. Wow, that's a cool word. My my son, fun fact, my 11-year-old son loves deep sea animals, like thinks they're so oh. cool, looks them up on kids' YouTube and all this stuff. He told me not that long ago, maybe a, a two or three days ago, that they were discovering, they had just either discovered something new or they're continuing to discover new species at like the deep, deepest parts of the ocean that's no one's ever seen. I'm like, that's amazing. Mm -hmm. And he told me some statistic that there was only like, he may not be right about this. May, you guys can fact check me. But I think there's only like... 2% of, they think only like 2% of the, all the deep sea animals have been discovered because there's so many down there that people have never seen. So that's a really, my son will love that word. I'm definitely going to tell him that, that God, tell him. God is, is showing new deep sea animals and he'll be really excited about that one. It is because, you know, the Lord has a record of every species yes. on the earth. Yes. And he knows where they are. That's right. So when these shifts happen, you see things like this happen. Yes, it's so, so amazing. Okay. And then the Lord says, an eruption and an earthquake simultaneously, says the Lord. Simultaneously in close proximity shall occur. Thus says the Lord, the spirit of Amalek, that spirit has gone out with force into the nations and is stirring up those whom serve it through religions, not of me. That's capital, says the Lord. It is stirring up the United Nations, enticing them to make wow. a judgment that will cost them much and will shroud their leadership in shame. Shame shall be their portion, says the Lord, or their portions, says the Lord. It shall, mm -hmm. as well as the winged creature of the darkness shall be struck. Now, I, I'm leaning towards that this may be that that strange looking statue outside the UN headquarters, but we'll see. Okay. Okay. For you have challenged the covenants I have made with nations. You enable Amalek who I war with every generation for their horrors they have committed. And I shall war with you, O UN, and fight against you and China and Russia. I shall war with you and frustrate your cords for what you have done. I warn you, O oh, Turkey. Now, this is interesting because Turkey just did something. Bef the Lord warned him in this word. I'll tell you what they did after this. But I warn you, O oh, Turkey, if you enable the prince of Persia, if you entertain Amalek, you shall be shaken. Your ministers and cabinet shall be struck. You shall be sifted. If you listen to the words of the dragon, you shall be sifted. You shall be given unto you your wage. 
I warn you, O Turkey, do not interfere in the matters of nations where, capitals, my hand is in it. For I, the Lord, am pouring cups of iniquity out in this season on many nations who have reared up for a strike, says the Lord. So Turkey very recent cut off all trade with Israel, I believe. You could double check me on this, but I think they were one of the nations that cut off trade with Israel suddenly. Wow. The South American nation did it too, but I believe Turkey was one of them. Well, that's not going to turn out good for Turkey. No, no. The Lord, word, the word I gave last night too, same thing. Lord's warned in Turkey again. There's something percolating in Turkey right now. We all need to just pay close attention to. I also want to ask you before we move on to the next one. Um, sure. When you talk about the spirit of Amalek, who, mm -hmm. what, who is that in the Bible? Okay, so the Amalekites okay. in the Bible, we'll, we'll, we'll give a couple of references. They, when Israel came out of Egypt, mm -hmm. Amalek attacked Israel when they were really defenseless because they were slaves at that point. They weren't okay. to fight. They were just coming out. And because of what they did, the Lord said he would blot out their name and he was going to war with them every generation because of what they did when they came out of Egypt. Now, another thing to note about the Amalekites is that the Lord told King Saul to destroy Amalek, everything mm -hmm. in it. Mm -hmm. Saul did not listen, and he kept uh -oh. King Agag alive and the best of the livestock alive. And then here comes Samuel going, why do I hear the bleeding of sheep all around me? What, you know what I mean? Like Samuel comes marching in. He sees Agag is alive. He sees the animals. And what happened was before Samuel actually executed a gag to finish the orders of the Lord. I know that's the only time Samuel, we ever have an account of him raising a sword, I believe, to did anybody. Sam, did Samuel prophesy that to Saul? Yes. Is that how he knew? Okay. Yes. Yes. And then Saul didn't do it. Saul didn't do it. So now, now here comes Samuel, right? And he's and he and he's all huffy puffy because he knows that Saul didn't do what he was supposed to do. King Agag assaulted a Jewish maidservant the night before, and she became pregnant. And Haman came from that line who in Esther tried to exterminate the Jews. That's why the Lord wanted it destroyed at that point. He saw what was coming. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Uh-huh. So Saul That's didn't I, kill him. He has relations with someone. Mm -hmm. And then down the line ends up ha Haman comes. comes. Oh, wow. Yep. Uh, wow. And so basically this spirit that incited Amalek is, is very uh, instrumental right now. And in what we see happening being stirred up on college campuses, what we see happening being stirred up in the Middle East. Um, Against Jewish Iran. people. Yes, exactly. Okay. There Makes he is. Perfect sense now. Yep. Okay. Okay. Let me see here. And says the spirit of the Lord this day, an unusual event in Iran, highly unusual, will make leadership apprehensive, will puzzle the United States and other nations. They will speak out about such. Iran is on the precipice of a plague, says the Lord. Wow. For yeah, for I, the Lord, am passing over in this time, and the people of Iran need their chains cut and freed. The underground church shall be protected and vindicated and shall rapidly grow in this time as the people cry out for a savior. I, the Lord, have heard those cries. The footsteps of my capital son, Jesus, Yeshua, is walking through Iran. The mm -hmm. people shall see. That's all capital. Wow, thank you, Lord. And that's amazing. I mean, we're going to hear reports of that. I'm telling you, we're going to hear more reports of that coming. Okay. And says the spirit of the Lord this day, the United States, oh, America, says the Lord, the eagle. It is time for your beak to be broken upon the rock. That's capitalized. I'll explain this in a minute. For if you do not, you will not survive. Mm -hmm. And I, the Lord, shall take the eagle's beak and break it upon the rock, for the old is dry and brittle and has lost its power. When that beak cracks and breaks off, there shall be an undeniable event in tandem, says the Lord, along the east coast, says the Lord, along the west coast, says the Lord, and Texas, says the Lord. That broken beak will then have to grow anew. A process and a time, says the Lord. The one who recognizes this and speaks this 
is anointed to lead the nation, says the Lord. Okay, okay. explain. <laughs> okay. As eagles get older, something happens to their beak where they can no longer eat and, and hold on to food the way they should. So they mm -hmm. have to make a decision to either die or to literally break their beak and crack it on a rock and break it off and allow it to grow new and strong and renewed. You wow. like what the Lord talks about renewing our strength like the eagle? Yes. This is what he's talking about. Oh, I have, my. To, I have to break it on the rock. Jesus Christ, because that, that's yes. what we're talking about it too. Break it yes. upon the rock. You have to be broken upon the rock to grow anew and mm. be redeemed. Does it have anything to do with like the mouthpiece? Is there is there anything tied in like that? Because it's its mouthpiece where it it could, it could be. There could be okay. something tied in having to do with that. So that's okay. that's what the, that's what's behind that. Okay. For the protection of the Lord has completely departed from the White House, from Washington, D.C. A tornado in D.C., says the Lord. Just watch, for this will transpire in an unusual way. All capitals. My hand is lifted. I, the Lord, am protecting those who truly serve me. They are under my wings in this time. However, my hand has lifted completely to allow events to take place that must, says the Lord. It is not a man that will save you, O America. It is I, the Lord, your God, in whom a promise was made between me and your nation long ago. Mm, amen. I, the Lord, am passing over Capitol, Washington, D.C. I am turning the tables over on Congress, the money changers, those who have made idolatrous deals in the dark. Now, this is all capitals here, both paragraphs. O Speaker, he's talking to Mike Johnson here. O oh, speaker, choose according to my word, not who needs what. Come back to that foundation and construct bills based upon my word and what is fair and just and what is excess, or my yes. hand will turn away. I allowed the change for a time, for a time. Choose wisely, not according to the flesh or demands of man or nations. Go back to basics and watch how I, the Lord, bring a gust of wind, the pneumos, my holy wind through the halls of Congress. And I, the Lord, am warning. He's giving a warning here. Am warning boastful Congress women who enjoy and crave the spotlight, who point fingers at the speck of dust in the eyes of leadership when you have a large log in your own eye that you have refused to deal with. And it has cost you your family, says the Lord. Mm -hmm. I warn you, watch what you speak in this time or your seat will be replaced. It will, for you crave salacious exploits and thrive in the outlandish to keep a spotlight on yourself that is about to go dim. Very serious. Wow. Very serious to the Congresswomen. Because some you of them know right a now way. feel like schizophrenic cats. I, 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 they do. I'm sorry, <laughs> but they do. <laughs> that was just her opinion, you guys. That no, wasn't at all capital. Lord. No, this is not that day at the Lord. This is Amanda Grace talking. <laughs> they sound it's, like schizophrenic it's cats. It's true, though. I mean, it is. It's chaos. It, it is chaos. Yes, and the Lord is dealing with it, you know? Um, and he gives them time to deal with it. But then when it's like the, that grace period has thinned, it's like now the Lord is going to deal with it. And now you don't have a choice. Right. In the matter of how he chooses to deal with it. So. Okay. And says the spirit of the Lord this day, my son, Jesus Christ is the way, the truth and the life. No one comes to the father, but through him. Rabbi shall have an awakening to this in this season. They are awesome. being sifted as well. And there are rabbis whose platforms I, the Lord, have set to fall and muzzle their voice. For they abuse such a position and brought shame to the name of Hashem for their liberal, mm. unholy exploits that do not line up with my capital word. They do not align with the Torah, that's capital. They are out of order indeed. And I, the Lord, from my capital court, will bring order to such. And now this is a this is interesting. This is a warning to the conservative side. I, the Lord, warn the conservative side. 
Be careful of rabbit holes you venture down, for they are really snake pits, and you shall become constricted and ensnared and cannot see where they shall strike in the dark. It is my wisdom that's capitalized the world needs, that the United yes. States needs. It is not the deafening noise of the infighting that is occurring, for you have brought shame to yourselves and become a laughing stock to those who serve the prophets of Baal and the serpent of Media. You are out of joint, out of order. And I, the Lord, am about to make, capitals, a large adjustment, a hard adjustment, and correction to, by force, knock it back into joint. Believe in me, that's capital. Trust in me, that's capital. Anchor in my word, that's capital. For I, the Lord, am your source. It matters more that you serve me and are obedient, that's capitalized, in this season, for obedience is better than sacrifice. I, the Lord, do not need the right person in positions of leadership in a nation to bless, prosper, grow, and protect you. I need your obedience and willingness to go where I, the Lord, desire you to go. Yes. I do so good. Yeah. Praise God for that. That, that was really like, you know, that, that, that's a mouthful right there for people to just take in. I do not submit to man systems. They submit to me. That's capitalized says the Lord secure yourselves now for turbulence. There's the warning. Secure yourselves now for turbulence says the Lord. You may feel it and see it. However, you will be protected as the United States, parts of Europe and the Far East enter a very pressure filled and serious pocket meant to bring about the change I, the Lord, desire. Mm. Trumpets, call on to me, that's capitalized, before the assembly. Call on my name openly in court before the assembly. Call on me, capital, openly and humble yourselves quietly. And I, the Lord, shall do a mighty work that others have written off because of your indiscretions and shortcomings that have now become fodder in the open. All capitals, all sin and fall short of the glory of God. All. That does not exclude you. Oh, Trump's, oh, Kennedy's, oh, Biden's, oh, Obama's. So he's going down the the leadership line for the past, I don't know, 12, 15 years. Some will redeem, some I will redeem in this season. The rest will fall. The Obamas will lose an O, says the Lord. And we'll see what that means. For the I was rest- going to say, what, what does that mean? <laughs> we're we're going to find out. We're, we're definitely going to find out. For the record must be made right, and those being persecuted, I will transform and redeem. For I mm-hmm. am a transformative God. And a one Saul is becoming a Paul as the humbly humbling will continue to its completion. No, my capital children, I am God. There is no other that's capitalized. I love you with an everlasting love. Come on to me, capital fully and submit for I am your father and I will redeem you and propel you in this time. My children, my is capitalized. As others fall for their prideful, pious acts, you shall move forward in the name of my capital son, Jesus Christ, to be the lights in the valley of decision. Thus says the Lord of hosts in Jesus name. Amen. Amen. All right, Amanda, let's talk about the rabbit holes because listen, yeah, <laughs> I can, sometimes I can love me some rabbit holes, yeah, huh? <laughs> and then you get like all down this place, and mm-hmm. and it, it's so true. I mean, you start, you look into one thing, and it leads you because there's so much information on the internet, right? So it does. It leads you to one thing to another, and then you're kind of like, um, I don't even. You end up in a bad place, right? Mm-hmm. And so. Should we like, should we just not even go down it or like, how does, how would you advise people? Because people want to know what's happening. They want to stay in the know, but it also is important that we stay aligned with the truth of God's Mm -hmm. word too. So is it like, do we see that it's not aligning with the word and then kind of like, okay, hard left out of here? Like, is that how you do it or? Well, the word is, 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 
a discerner of the thoughts and intents of the heart. So it is a discerner. So you hold it up to the word, the word will discern. The issues with rabbit holes, why we have to be careful and discern, right? Mm -hmm. Because when you go down a rabbit hole, it's very dark down there and everything looks the same and you can't discern because it's all dark, right? Right, right. So the it, it becomes where when people start and i've i've seen this happen when they start with these rabbit holes getting obsessive and mm-hmm. putting more weight on that than the word and what right. the word is saying yes then it has become very imbalanced and it is going to hurt them and you open a door then for the enemy to start to bring in ideas that may not be correct at all in yes. in what it is being said in its theology and in anything else so mm-hmm. this is why we have to be careful and pray about and discern what we're hearing because there's a lot of people out there right mm-hmm. that make a living off of sharing information that may not all be true, right? Yeah. So they, oh, absolutely. Yeah. Okay. And there's a whole market for that. Mm-hmm. And so that's why we have to be careful and weigh it and not put more weight on that information than we do on God. Yes. And who he is in his plans. Yes. And I think if it's taking you away from spending time with the Lord, like it's, you know, People aren't going to read their Bibles 24 seven, you know, every time they just get a second, I think there's people will look into other stuff or whatever than the news or whatever. But I just think if that is taking over your life, that's a good indicator. Like back in the early 2020, I felt like I was spending more time kind of looking into certain things Mm -hmm. than I was spending time with the Lord. And he really convicted me of that. He's like, you're not spending any time with me and reading my word. And I was like, Ooh, I'm not, you're right. And what I realized is when I kind of turned away from it a little bit, I realized that I wasn't, um, cause some of the things I read would cause like fear and worry and paranoia, and anxiety, mm-hmm. stress. And then God's word does the complete opposite. Mm-hmm. So it gives me peace and rest and hope and joy. And so it was like, I, but that was a self-inflicted wound that I was causing myself because I was the way to put it. Yeah. I was the one doing it. So God dealt with me with that. And then I realized that kind of steering away from that, that you're not missing anything because the full truth is in God's word. And he's going to make sure the sons of God are led by the spirit of God. So he will lead us and guide us, even if we don't know all the in the know type type of stuff but that's my my own 2020 history but god's really um dealt with me in that aspect so i like that he said that to you about the rabbit holes because i'm like that's true that's you get stuck down there too rabbit holes are 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 small right and they're compact and you could get stuck down there right so you stuck there and then what i know (laughs) <laughs> You're going to need to blow out the whistle to come save me. And then the Lord Jesus says some help. of them are snake pits. And what he means by that is they're designed to look like an innocent rabbit hole. Yes. And when you go down there, there are serpents. Yep. That bite and constrict. Yes. Yep. They constrict your spiritual life. That's for mm-hmm. sure. Yes. That's for sure. Well, that's, that's so right. good, Amanda. And all you shared is I still process Based it on. like... I know it's a lot throughout the day as we as I go through the day I'm still processing because there's so much um but before we end today would you pray for the people that are listening um any way the Lord leads you um you're free to pray however however if you want to prophesy or whatever you're free thank you to do that okay Father God, in the precious name of your son, Jesus Christ, Yeshua, we come before you, Lord. We praise you for this time. We thank you for this day, Father God. Lord, we thank you for all those, Father, who run Elijah Streams, Father God, and work so hard to do so, Lord. Father, we just ask that you would bless them for their efforts, Father, in Jesus' name, and continue to bless it, Lord. Father, we just ask you to forgive us of our sins and cleanse us of all unrighteousness. Acknowledging your son, Jesus Christ, Yeshua HaMashiach, was the word became flesh and dwelt among us. 
who was the Passover lamb, the sacrifice for our sins. He willingly died at Calvary. He purchased us by the shedding of his own blood. He mm -hmm. redeemed us. He set us free. Mm -hmm. He reconciled us back to you, Lord. And he is ruling and reigning at your right hand forevermore. He is our advocate without ceasing day and night before your throne. And we honor that before you this day. Father, we just pray for everyone here, Lord, and, and for the time we're in, Father. Father, we just ask in Jesus' name that you would draw, Lord, your little flock, your remnant, Father, closer to you, Lord, in Jesus' name, Lord. Yeah. Father, your word says you will keep those in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on you. Father, the anxiousness, Father, that is trying to reach a boiling point, Lord. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, Lord, we command that to be quelled, Father God, in Jesus' name, Lord. Father, for your word says, be anxious for nothing, but through everything with prayer and petition, make your requests known to God. And Father, we bring those requests before you this day, Lord. Father, those that are watching right now, Father God, that are going through trials and struggles, Lord, and, and issues of health, Father, Lord, you, you, you never say that we're not going to go through trials, but you do say in your word that when we're willing, you will walk those trials through with us. Father God, and help us be victorious, Lord, and grow, Father God, in you, Father God, and increase, Lord, in territory and what you have given us, Father, to be good stewards on this earth, to go forth as good stewards, Father, in many capacities, Lord, in in, in the area of the United States and the world right now, in those pockets that are valley of decisions, Father God. Lord, in Joshua 24, it's 2024, and in Joshua 24, he says to the people of Israel, as he has grown old and he's about to go be with the Lord, choose this day whom you will serve. He warned them that if they strayed and went to other gods, what would happen to them? And he ends by saying, choose this day whom you will serve. Lord, 2024 is the year of Joshua 24. Mm -hmm. It is our year to cho choose. We are facing what is happening in this nation. We are facing the idolatry. We are facing the blasphemy. Father, we are facing what is unclean and detestable to you, Father. And Lord, as your people, Father God, we are crying out to you, Lord, in Jesus' name and consecrating ourselves before you, Lord. In all humility, Father, just as Ezra did with the people, Lord, that our hearts and the nation's heart would turn back to you, for the nation truly has a heart condition right now. Father God, this nation truly needs a quadruple bypass, and you are the surgeon. You are Jehovah Rapha. You are our healer. Lord, this is a battle for the soul of this nation, Father. And Lord, we praise you, Father God, for the promise that was made yes. long ago and that covenant that was made from New York, Lord, between George Washington. He made it on behalf of the nation with you, Lord. And we praise you for that, Lord. And we put you in remembrance of that, Father. And Lord, we just ask in the name of Jesus Christ, Father God, that you would mature the fruit of the church in this time, Lord mature the fruit of the church father god that it may bear much good fruit in a time father god of rage in a time of accusation in a time of persecution that the church would bear fruit that it would go out and be the salt and the light and, and that you would have called it to be that it would cry out for holiness father mm -hmm. god amongst a world that is desperate right now for stability Father God, that is looking to hold on to stability. Let those cries for holiness, Father God, draw them in. And Lord, we just pray for those watching, Lord, who are, Father, sick, who are going through trials of sickness, infirmity, and disease, Father. Lord, mm -hmm. we just ask in the name of Jesus, you would quicken their mortal bodies and you would touch them, Father God. Yes. Those that are in bondage right now. In fact, I have been getting this for, for about two or three minutes now, and I've been sitting on it and just, and just praying this out. But there is someone watching, and it's a woman, and you are a witch. And you have been in this a while and you have been struggling because the blinders have been coming off your eyes and you have actually been watching more than once 
and mm-hmm. being convicted. And you have even said there is no way out for you. There is a way out and his name is Jesus Christ. And you, he is calling you now to surrender and come on to him. And he is going to break those shackles off of you that have been on you in the spirit that you have been carrying for a long time. And he's going to break it and deliver you right now. If you will get on your knees and surrender in all humility to him, he is visiting you. He is breaking them because the enemy hijacked the gift that God gave you and has been illegally using it for his selfish purposes in this nation in this nation and you have also gone to africa you've gone to africa for powers and right now that that ancestral line is being broken in jesus name call on jesus it says those who call on the name of the lord shall and will be saved and acknowledge his death on the cross and you are going Mm -hmm. to be delivered and set free receive it now in jesus name Mm. thank you lord there's someone watching you have terrible arthritis in your right elbow and it has been affecting the use of the entire arm and this has been degenerative it has gotten worse over time put your hand right now where your elbow is because you're going to feel your arm heat up as the power of god comes in and drives out that decay and that inflammation and that degenerative issue that the root would come up out of you right now in the name of jesus of infirmity out of your body and be bound back to the dry place it's not return or have anything sent in its place you are being healed of this arthritis the lord is touching you he is healing you you are going to be able in the coming days to start doing more with your arm than you have been able to do with more than it's been more than a year so basically Mm -hmm. you're able to do more than you have done in a year with this arm so receive it receive it and rejoice because the lord is touching his people in this hour he is visiting them he is touching them he is delivering them Mm -hmm. thank you lord and i just got a word someone's thumb you've had a lot of pain like in just in your thumb joint the lord's healing that right now So, Father, I thank you right now for those who are experiencing pain uh, in their thumb, God, that they be healed in Jesus' mighty name. Lord, we thank you for your healing, your refreshing. Lord, we thank you that you renew us in every way, physically, spiritually, emotionally. God, we just bless you and we thank you, Lord, for what you're doing. Lord, we thank you for the Holy Spirit going out right now and touching many, Lord, touching many right now listening. And even if we haven't called out something specific to you, let's just begin to believe God. And maybe you don't have any sickness in your body anywhere. Just begin to pray and ask the Lord to touch those who are suffering, who are hurting. The Lord is giving his true believers in this hour ideas for businesses Mm. because believers have to be out there in the marketplace and he's giving them ideas for businesses right now and 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 giving it to them in the coming days and oh be obedient with it the lord is giving this out he is putting his favor upon it you have been found worthy because the lord wants you to go forth and influence parts of the marketplace that have become very very corrupt And the Lord is giving his people ideas for business, also for sufficiency and to be self-sufficient in him so that they can be an impact right now in this nation and in the earth. They can go forth, Father God, and what you want done will be accomplished according to your will. So those of you that have been praying about it, those of you that have been sitting on these ideas for businesses now is the window of opportunity to go forth in faith and plant that in good soil and watch it grow because the lord is going to bless it and he's going to cause it to grow because these areas have to be influenced they they must be influenced Mm -hmm. in the united states of america and the world 
You keep your eyes on Scotland right now. There's a major, major event that is going to occur in Scotland that's going to affect parts of Europe. Mm. This has been percolating for a while, but we're going to watch it spill over. So keep your eyes on Scotland right now. It also has something to do with this nation. It is connected. So just watch mm. Scotland right now in this hour. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Those of you out there that are suffering from migraines right now, the Lord is touching your mind. He is he is quelling the misfirings in the mind. He is he is rerouting the neurotransmitters. Lift your hand and receive it. You're probably going to feel some tingling, even some of you, on your head because the Lord is touching you and he is dealing with the root of those migraines. Some of it is trauma from when you were children. Some of this is trauma. And I command in the name of Jesus Christ that trauma to come out of your soul right now in the name of Jesus. It is hereby evicted this day. We apply the blood of Jesus and command it out right now in the name of Jesus and bound back to the dry places, Lord, and areas you have designated to not return or have anything sent to its place. I speak healing and wholeness right now to your mind. You have a sound mind. God has not given us a spirit of fear. That fear is broken. That the enemy has been piggybacking off of to continue this affliction. It is broken this day and your minds are being healed and made whole and you will no longer be incapacitated by such because it's hindering and affecting what the Lord wants you to do. Praise you, Lord, that this is the mm. day of their deliverance in Jesus name. Yes, yes. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. I saw someone in the comments, um, talked about their, their child having food allergies and also people who've been dealing with chronic pain. So I just want to pray for that okay. real quick. So Father, okay. we just pray for those who have food allergies, Lord, or intolerances that their stomach is rejecting it, their body is rejecting it, and there's reactions happening. Lord, we just ask right now that they would be healed in the name of Jesus. Lord, we just pray that your hand would be upon them, God, and that their stomach would be able to tolerate any types of food. Lord, and we thank you for your healing touch, Father, right now for every person that's struggling with any type of um, problem within their stomachs, whether it's Crohn's or any type of gluten intolerance. Lord, we ask that right now that would just be lifted off of them, that they would be healed in the name of Jesus. And for those who also are having chronic pain or have had chronic pain for a long time, Lord, we just ask that that would be broken over their lives. Lord, that that pain would leave and would never come back. Father, that they would be healed in their joints, in their bones, in their muscles, and that they would, like the eagle, that their strength would be renewed unto them. Father, we thank you for it in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Amanda, Amen. so good. Love being on with you. Such a joy. I love being on with you, Kelsey. Such a joy. Okay. How can people follow along with all the stuff you're doing? Because you got a lot on your plate. <laughs> Just, I, that's, I that's being nice. <laughs> um, so arcofgrace.org, there is a tab that says ways to watch. You can click on that. Uh, we are on YouTube as Ark of Grace Ministries and Rumble as well as Ark of Grace Ministries and Facebook, where Ark of Grace Ministry with the Y. We also have our own app. So Ooh. it is in the app store, the dove with the olive branch. And if you want to follow us on Twitter, um, it's at Amanda Grace underscore AOG. Awesome. Well, thank you so much, Amanda. Love you. Can't Love wait you. to be back on with you. Make sure you follow along. She releases words all the time. She just released a word yesterday, actually, mm -hmm. um, that we didn't get to today. But if you want to watch it, um, it's streaming on all your platforms they yes. can find it so mm -hmm. make sure to check out that word yesterday thank you for joining us if you have a testimony i saw testimonies the chats were going by so fast but oh. i picked up what i could but i was seeing people that were being touched and healed so make sure you share your testimony with us at elijahstreams.com slash testimonials because we want to rejoice with you what god has done in your life we love you so very much. Have a blessed Tuesday. You won't want to miss tomorrow. It's Prophets and Patriots with Dr. Um, Jerome Corsi. I want to make sure I say his last name correct. Corsi, you will not want to miss.